Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross tutorial video. So this video, as you can tell from the title, it should have been made years ago when Luck Leaf was first introduced. But you know, due to time and of course my health and all that kind of stuff, things got delayed. <laughs> so anyway guys, thank you guys for all the well wishes for uh, my recovery. As of today that I'm making this video, technically there are three videos that are coming out today and this is the first one I definitely want to put out for you guys first because it is something very important that should have been settled years ago like I said. Um, so guys, let's get down to explaining what the leaf notes are, or lucky leaf, basically, uh, as what the Japanese call it. And of course, um, why certain episode plates should only be getting this treatment, um, because since there are so many episode plates out there right now, it's just pretty hard to judge which ones should be powering up. Um, and of course helping you out with your high score achievements which is basically why this video needs to be made now um, so we're gonna take a look at the mission banners for now and of course if you guys have been following me on my, on my Facebook or Instagram pages uh, make sure you guys follow me and like me there and of course keep up to date with all things Utah Macross, Macross and of course all the other pop culture stuff that I'm into I've already translated the missions and what you need to do on my Facebook page so if you want to go and find out what the summer ticket missions are please head over to the Facebook page and check out that post and of course uh, you will understand why this video needs to go up as soon as possible now that these missions have kind of made things a bit harder for those who are free to play and of course those who have been holding out on powering up their episode plates because they don't really know what to do so guys, I'm sure by now, for those of you who are able to purchase Singing Stone Packs for this game, you have probably gotten Seasonal Spheres from your um, Singing Stone Packs, unlike now, they are currently giving out, um, as you can tell, summer, uh, summer tickets with your special discounted packs, you know. And of course, right now they are giving out the um, special summer spheres and um, of course the fourth anniversary Nyan Kuji tickets as well so normally when you buy the regular packs uh, apparently the, the, the special discounted packs also still has the summer spheres the summer spheres are basically what you need um, to exchange for all the wonderful stuff that you can power up your episode plates with aside from summer tickets of course your super dimension tickets that you can get more episode plates with the important ones are actually these ones the secret stone of course there is the episode orb which is good for unlocking your costumes and of course the ones that we are really talking about this time round is the luck stones the small version and the large versions and of course the secret stones these three items are the crucial items that you need to power up your episode plates with if you want to get very good high score so guys we're gonna dive into the episode plate uh, department right now and we're gonna just talk about you know episode plates in general and what the leaf uh, leaf notes or lucky leaf basically does if you power them up um, and how is it gonna help you with your high score achievements and of course you know other good stuff such as attaining special items um, you know for the, tic the ticketing event and of course your own personal free time play you know all the stuff all right so first thing first i i've already default set that um this is the secret board of course you can select as luck as well we're gonna go with the six star range because Technically, I don't really have a lot of 7-star episode plays that can power up. Uh, technically, I do have you know some that are fully evolved. <laughs> These are the few. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, free-to-play players. I'm not trying to gloat, but yeah. Um, so, you can technically power up your 7-star episode plays the same way you do with your 6-star fully evolved ones um, you just need to tap them to see the you know the leveling up section of course 
once you've fully powered up this section, the base stats of the episode plates are basically there. The extra hidden stats that we normally see um, from the gacha information page, let's just dive into here. Every time we do a gacha video, we will talk about it. I hope you guys have been watching through all the gacha videos because technically the information on the episode plates are very important just like um, here so as you can see you can tell um, the image here has always been of a plus 25 luck value episode plate means an episode plate maxed out so even though when you fully evolve let's say for example a copy of Cheryl's episode plate if you do have it um, it doesn't give you the 3890 total score straight away the rest of the stats are actually hidden behind the luck factor or rather the secret bots so let's dive back into the episode plate section so we're gonna take a look um, and let you understand why the secret bots are pretty much very important so let's say for example this particular episode plate that belongs to an event so you can tell normally the episode plates will give you points for a valkyrie a costume or even maybe um, a background drop right now for the home page which is basically what the current event the new uh, ticketing event with the five unit diva play um, that starts off the fourth anniversary for Uta Macross, they have finally introduced a brand new event episode plate that gives not a Valkyrie but a home backdrop for Uta Macross. So we'll talk about that again later in the gacha video that's coming out today. So yeah, so normally when you get a secret note, um, or rather a secret um, page um, extension, you get luck value luck value then sometimes other episode plates will give you stats so we'll, we'll take a look at one of the episode plates that um, i personally want to power up um, so i'm gonna select here six stars and i'm gonna select reina because i do know specifically a reina episode plate that i've been meaning to power up for a very long time which is this one <laughs> main reason why i'll explain later so as you can tell if you do um, extend the luck fa factor of the episode plate you will see that they will gain stats so the extra stats that normally you will see from a gacha page are all from the secret boards um, that you will unlock through getting duplicate copies of the episode plate and of course if you get a plus five luck value you will get all five lucky leaves to appear for the episode plate which is technically going to help you for your high score achievements now plus five luck value on a fully evolved episode plate if you're wondering why i'm talking so slowly for this portion because it is the most essential critical information that you definitely need to know um, plus five luck value like i said is the bare minimum for any episode plate that can produce a luck leaf node um, is is just that critical because first of all we're gonna go through the basics of what luck means luck improves the appearance of the gold gem during a live performance usually these gold gems at the end of the live performance will drop you either a uh, episode plate or um, materials so we're gonna take a look at the um, item page for a moment so normally if you've played Uta Macross long enough you know that the large resources okay for powering up your episode plate are pretty hard to come by as you can tell my quantity count isn't exactly fantastic it's only like thousand of each color of course the blue one being the most common the rarest will be the yellow and a pink because they are very hard to come by um, and those gold item notes um, usually are dropped through luck value on your episode plates so it is very important that you know the episode plates that you're equipping for your diva sets um, have luck value on them if you want to attain such 
resources to power up your episode play. I'm sure you guys who have been playing the game long enough will roughly know what I'm talking about. Then for the ticketing event, the luck value actually gains you tickets to play the event. So yes, that's why 5-star fully evolved episode plates with high luck value are always essential for the ticketing event. So if I were to show you my 5-star luck value, as you can tell from over the years, I've attained quite a bit of episode plates that have plus 25 luck value. Most of them generally are from events. Um, the ones with lower luck value are usually obtained through gacha. So event episode plates are technically very important because they are the easiest way to attain episode plates with high luck value. Of course, if you obtain a 6-star episode plate with high luck value, which is usually what I don't have, um, it's even better because the highest luck value that you can attain from a 6-star episode plate is a plus 25 which is definitely higher than a plus 20 5-star episode plate. So the more luck, the higher chance of getting more event tickets and of course more resources from your regular play within the live section itself. Now, the thing is, <laughs> we've seen whalers with plus 25 luck value on um, 6-star episode plates and some of them who are crazy enough, plus 12 plus 25 luck value on 7 star episode plates which is technically kind of insane I don't see why you should do that uh, first of all the life skills on the 7 star episode plate aren't fantastic so getting them to plus 25 luck value isn't exactly a good idea you know setting up a full diva team with plus 25 7 star episode plates is not exactly a smart thing to do <laughs> Considering that live skills on a 6-star episode place are technically what gets you to a very very good high score. A 7-star episode plate is technically a good center episode plate and that's it. They don't really do much other than that. <laughs> so you only need one 7-star episode plate as your center position episode plate and then the rest of them are just maybe plus 25 luck value 6 star episode plates. So that's the best optimal setup that you can have in Ukama Cross if you are that godly with your cash <laughs> or you're very very unlucky I would I would, I would quotation this. Um, people might consider unlucky to have duplicates of certain episode plates that they already have but you know getting a high luck value on a duplicate episode plate is technically a good thing as well so some, that's, a, that's why whenever we do gacha videos I'm not frustrated when I get duplicates of old episode plates at, at least good old episode plates <laughs> so yes we're gonna talk about the Reina episode plate that I've wanted to power up um, so let's take a look at the episode plate again. So this is the episode plate. So every time when we do a gacha video, we always take a look at one thing. And that is the special note attached to the episode plate. So as you can tell, the main reason why, not, why I want to power up this episode plate is because of this. And because the episode plate does generally have a very good total high score. If it reaches its 25 luck value. So how do you get more le lucky leaves? Oh, so basically you go to the power up episode page and of course when you're in the secret board section as you can tell here there is this pink button that you can press. Now it will show you the amount of secret stones that you currently have on hand as you can tell I don't have a lot of it and I've been playing this game for four years that's why it is very important to only power up good episode plates so yes that's another reason why I have been holding back or rather um, not being able to make my list of top 10 best episode plates for each diva which I have asked you guys to vote for last year <laughs> Yes, I'm getting to it. I want to do that video 
and it's definitely one of those few videos that really will complete the tutorial section for Ultra Macross for my channel. So guys, be patient and I thank you for your patience as always. So yes, as you can tell, I have 35 units or rather 34 units of the Secret Stone. Um, technically, I can use all of them to make Ray Ray's episode play a plus 25 luck value. But like I said, the bare minimum is plus 5. Once you've gotten all the secret leaves to appear, you know, getting any further luck improvement on the episode plate is really all just dependable on the gacha. But of course, you can do so by feeding the secret stones, but since they are so hard to come by, I would highly recommend you not to do so. Just Kirafi the episode plate and you're good to go. So if you guys don't know what Kira 5 means, basically if you gain an episode plate to its plus 5 luck value, the episode plate will look all sparkly. So I'm gonna add um, 3 luck, um, you know, plus luck value on this episode plate to get it to its um, plus 5 factor. There we go, and that's the bare minimum. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna unlock all the luck leaves right here. Alright, there we go. So that's the bare minimum mat. So I'm gonna explain to you what each leaf does when you unlock it. Guys, this is the most important factor, especially when it comes to your high score achievements. Like I said, the main reason is the bare minimum because it does give plus luck um, factor to your episode plates which is going to help you to attain episode um, plates from the events. Of course, you have the materials that you can power up your episode plates with and of course, attaining um, ticketing event tickets. Well, technically, you wouldn't use 6 star episode plates with plus 5 luck value to gain such tickets, you rather use a fully powered plus 25 star episode plates for such a case. But you know, um, these plus 5 luck 6 star episode plates are technically just for your high score achievements and all that kind of stuff. So alright, the first note, if you fill it up, your perfect taps will become excellent, which is what gives you the extended high score that you will normally attain it will give a plus four percent chance of them appearing so yes if you don't know what excellent notes are so as you can tell here the notes with the microphone in them when you play the lives if you see these and you tap a perfect touch these touches will turn into an excellent which will in turn give you very good high score so that's what you really want and of course they explain here you know the luck value with more leaves and of course um, five star episode plates use the small luck stone six and seven star episode plates use the large luck stone which is harder to come by and of course there you go um, when you tap the notes you give you the excellent um, so of course it will boost your high score all right and of course if you fully power up the luck leaf you will gain that plate premium up which is the kira effect which is always nice to look at <laughs> so of course under your episode plate assortment list you can always tap the luck leaf note which personally i don't really like to use because it, it looks very confusing but you know each to their own so anyway guys that's it and of course that's the first leaf um, effect explanation so let's move on all right and the second leaf your center life skills um, appearance it gets the plus five factor as well so plus five percent sorry um, so it's always good to increase your chances of getting better excellent taps so let's do that okay and here onwards is the main reason why every gacha video 
or not really every, but whenever I emphasize the fact that you know using a same series episode played with a same series song, let's say for example you're playing a pink color song and you're using episode plates that are of the pink element as well or a pink type, um, you know. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let's go to the live section. Just give it a brief breakdown once again. Um, very quickly so as you can tell rainbow songs are not so much affected for um, the luck value blue series yellow series and of course um, where is my pink there we go pink series songs so let's get out of here before I get copyright strike <laughs> um, so yes um, the Luck Leaves does give you a boost in excellent chance percentages as you can tell here, a 2% boost if your episode play and your song are from the same series so that's why it's very important um, when you're playing single series um, songs um, the only one that's not affected is definitely the Rainbow um, songs so it's really usually difficult hard to get a very good high score on Rainbow Series songs. So yes, matching the song with the episode play types is very very beneficial. So yes, finally you guys can understand why I've always been explaining this factor. That is if you have technically um, powered up your luck leaves. So let's do this. Alright, and the fourth luck leaf, same thing, you know, song and plate same series gets a plus three bonus. And of course the last one here basically I I'm not sure why it's two different things. I think it is because um oh okay, so the microphone note only appears during the center skill activation so yeah so excellent notes you gain a plus two percent more if the plate and the song are the same series of course plate and song same series you get a plus two percent chance of having the microphone note um, appear during the center skill activation as well so that's all the explanation I can give for the luck leaves and here we go we're gonna curify Ray Ray's episode clip <laughs> all right guys that's it for the luck leaf explanation hopefully I've uh, got you guys to understand the importance of choosing really good episode plates within your own collection uh, definitely you may not have the same episode plates like I do or from another player because our gacha lucks are all very different but make sure you guys do choose good episode plates personally for yourself um, to power up especially those that you have been using a lot personally for yourself if you have not been using good episode plates for yourself, it might be time to consider looking through your collection of 6 star episode plates um, and breaking down which are the ones that are really the essential key factors to your future improvement of the game for yourself and of course for your future diva setups. So guys, as always, thank you guys for watching through the entire video if you did. Make sure you share this video to all your friends who are still playing Utah Cross and are a bit lost on what to do and um, hopefully this video guides you and your friends on what to make yourself sure on what you need to do to gain a very good high score considering that the fact that now that Dana wants us to gain a 10 million high score for the summer ticket mission that is a lot of points so it's time to take a look at my episode place and finally unlock my potential my base high score uh, before doing this video has always been around the 5 million range I'm halfway through um, so it's time to get 
very good high scores, improve my Uta rank, and hopefully get more summer tickets for the gacha that's coming in the future. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you once again. Make sure you guys uh, hit like, share, subscribe on my channel here, my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and I'll see you guys anywhere on the social media platforms or even in the next video very soon. Bye!